what's going on everybody welcome to another video it's good to be back making some more videos making content and you know talking to you guys about everything so i'm glad to be back now i took a little small break a small hiatus from youtube i've been doing a lot more twitch streaming but not as much as i wanted to but right now i'm back i've just been dealing with a few things in my personal life you know just doing a bunch of stuff like getting things in order the beginning of the year is always kind of weird for me so uh, there's that and there's also i've been getting over sickness as well i was sick and oh my gosh it's just been all hit at the same time it's just been dealing with it and now that i've kind of got to settle uh, settled down a little bit so now and one of those things that i was kind of contemplating as well with the youtube channel is of course blaze blue cross tag battle with this whole fiasco that it has right now with the dlc and i've been thinking about the future of blaze blue cross tag battle right here and taking everything into consideration taking everything with me and the game and how i love the game and the whole thing with it and uh i think i come up with a conclusion so let's get right into the topic of the video the reason why you clicked on the video which is of course the blaze blue cross tag battle situation now i know i know it i you've seen lots and lots of videos about the dlc situation you've heard a lot of people with their express their concerns whether it be they don't care that it, about the dlc and i i don't understand those people but they're out there I, or whether it be that they're not happy with it they're they're uh, dissatisfied everything like that they think our system is the devil the greedy bastards whatever whatever the case may be you heard it all over here i just want to give this is going to be the final video i just want to give one final video one final thing that i want to say before i put this all to rest before i can move on and everything in my personal stance on the future of the game here and what i think about the situation after We've had a, a bit more information. There's still some things that are unclear, but I want to make this as short as possible and to make uh, to tell you guys the future of the channel as of right now. So if you guys don't know, the last time I uploaded anything with Cross Tag Battle in the title is, of course, the Deer Arc System video, not including the thing with yesterday, you know, with the Ruby characters being free, but <coughs> the Ruby DLC characters being free. But other than that, the last Arc System or Deer... <laughs> The last video about Blaze with Cross Tag Battle was the Deer Arc System video, and uh, now I'm kind of here. Ever since then, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking, pondering deep hard about this because seriously, I've been I was really thinking about this. Like, what do I want to do with this game? As of right now, the game was on top of the world, man. It was great. It was fan service. It was an all star game for everybody to enjoy. It's gonna be great, great PR, great characters, great gameplay. And, you know, having a good company to back it up, maybe do some DLC characters in the future uh, outside of the roster is going to be great. But ever since they dropped the DLC shenanigans, it just fell down to the floor. And now it's trying to claw its way back up to the top or at least some at least midway to the top. And it's unfortunate the situation that it's in. OK, right now, the game has left a gash or a scar in with us. OK, no matter what. No matter what they do to with us, we will always, always remember that one time that Arc System split up the roster in half or they split up Ruby in half behind, you know, DLC walls, whatever. And the, how the base roster was going to be very vanilla, very bad. Or well, that's what the initial things are. And uh, everyone's going to remember it no matter what. Now all they can do is put band-aids trying to, you know, kind of cure the wound a little bit. But it's always going to leave a scar. Always, no matter what. So they started off by doing the Ruby DLC thing, which was yesterday's video. If you guys haven't heard, Blake and Yang are going to be free DLC characters at launch. OK, and uh, they started off in the right direction. And I'm happy. A lot of people got mixed reviews saying that, oh, they're lying. It's just going to be week one DLC free because Arc System always does this. And every time they release a DLC character, or at least in the case of BBCF, Blaze for Central Fiction, it was S. S was free week one, and in terms of Guilty Gear, Dizzy when she was released was was free week one as well. And then after that, they were paid DLC and such. Their thing is going to be under this way, which I understand where they're coming from and to believing this stuff. But in my personal opinion, I feel like they're going to be free permanently because the context of the situation right now. And if you take a took a look, the information that they gave us is all right. Number one, the tweet that Arc System Works sent out, which said something along the lines of, we hear you, stay tuned for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle information. 
And because of that, they acknowledge that we're unhappy about something. It's not that something that they weren't addressing is that we weren't happy about something and they have to make a change. That's what that tweet implied. And that change was making Ruby, I mean, uh, making Blake and Yang part of the initial roster by not paying for them. Now, of course, there's the inconvenience of you have to download both characters at launch, but at the same time, the characters are going to be free. And I feel like they're going to be free permanently. That's what I feel like. Because the backlash was really big for this whole situation. Not just the DLC, but splitting up the Ruby characters behind paid walls, which was not, not a good idea at all. And because of that, they have to, they already promoted it as DLC. Now they, all they can do now is fix it by saying free DLC. So that's what I think. Could I be wrong? Yes, I could definitely be wrong and say there's, they're going to be paid DLC later down the line of the game's lifespan. But for the most part, I really doubt that because if they really want more backlash and more, <laughs> more bad PR, then yes, go ahead and do that by all means. So we'll just keep talking shit until you get it right. And uh, some people are probably not going to even bother. But anyways, that's all that with the community. But in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be free week one. I think it's going to be free permanently. That's just my opinion, though. Anyways, so yeah, with all the information that they've given us and with Evo having Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Yes, Evo is going to be a Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. I'm going to make a separate video about all that. But for the most part, just to summarize what my feelings are, is I'm going to say, God damn it, I knew, I freaking knew Evo had a part of it. Or a certain tournament had a part of BB, a BB tag being the way it is right now. And I'm going to say that because there's no way that they would release it in the state that it's in without having some form of rushing mentality. You have to rush the game to get it out before a certain tournament. Wow. So... I, I knew it was going to be in this state. I had a gut feeling it was going to be like this, but whatever. That you, It is what it is. I'll go into more detail in a separate video. But uh, yeah. So anyways, I'm getting off track here. So the channel and BB tag, okay? I want to keep this as short as possible. I'm already running behind. But uh, for the most part, I'm still going to be getting the game. All right? I'm still going to be getting the game. I'm still going to be buying it. I'm going to be buying the season pass whatever the whole shenanigans i'm still going to be doing because at the end of the day i was thinking long and hard about this at the end of the day it's a game that i love and a game that i want to have fun with and looks like fun and i want to play that's my personal decision i respect anybody that doesn't want to get this game because of their own views on dlc and stuff or if they were scarred by the whole ea thing and they're like they hear dlc and they're like oh oh be gone you know, I whatever, that's your decision and whatever. But for the most part with me, I want to have fun with the game. I want to play the game. I feel like the game is going to be fantastic. The only thing that's wrong with the game right now is just the bad PR with the DLC shenanigans. That's it. And of course, the damn auto runs. Oh, auto runs. Why are you in there? <laughs> but um, for the most part, I am still going to be getting the game. Now, I thought long and hard about... Every possible comeback that I get from people, you know, it's like, oh, well, doesn't will that make you a hypocrite? Or why are you supporting them? Why, why are you against it when you're still supporting them? I thought of every possible thing that could go by the book. But at the, at the end of the day, it's a game that I personally love, okay? It doesn't affect the gameplay itself like it did with Battlefront 2, like, for example. So if it doesn't affect that, then I really don't have an issue with playing the game initially but i definitely do not like how they're approaching this whole dlc thing i don't like it i still don't like it but at the same time i know it sounds weird but here's the 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 the, the nearest you know, or like the most <laughs> the thing that i can relate to the most like if your favorite drink was like more expensive than the others you know what i mean I don't know. It's, it's a weird, weird example. But what if your drink was your favorite drink was beer and all of a sudden beer went up 20 bucks. So like you can get a beer for like twenty five dollars or you can get like Diet Coke for like three dollars. Your favorite drink is a beer. All right. That's your favorite drink of all time. I, say, I want a beer. I want alcohol. And what are you going to do at the end of the day? Of course, you're going to pay. Maybe you're not going to get as much, but you're still going to pay twenty five dollars for your favorite drink. It's your favorite drink no matter what. I know it's a silly, silly, silly example, but that's the lines that I'm thinking of right now. It's still my favorite 
some of my favorite franchises. The game looks amazing, and I want to play it. It looks like fun. That's just the bottom line for me. And like I said, I respect anybody that's not going to get it. I can't help you with that. I, I feel the exact same way with the DLC thing. But at the end of the day, me, me personally, I'm still going to play it. I'm still going to support it. I'm still going to make videos on it. And I'm still going to try my best to, <laughs> to keep this game going. Now, whether that will be like that in the long haul, I don't know. Because we're still unclear about one thing and one thing only that's huge. And that is the pricing and how the DLC is going to be handled. Because of the EVO tournament, they said that they're rushing the game as much as possible, trying to get the game as done as fast as possible so we can play it as fast as possible. Which means that right now they're working on those DLC characters like there's no tomorrow right now, dude. They are freaking rushing their asses to try and to get those DLC characters done before EVO. I guarantee you those DLC characters will be here before EVO starts. I, I'm just saying. Because the game right now, the base game, the game that they said they're going to release... And then have the other characters be DLC. It's already done. We already have 22 characters. We we have, I mean, I'm sorry. We have 20 characters plus Blake and Yang, which I heard was going to be there on launch date. So, which means that the hardest part is done. So, I'm pretty sure that the whole DLC thing was going to be there before Evil starts. Which leads me to two things. And this is the final thing of the video. Two things. Either one, they're going to, with the whole DLC thing... They're going to be releasing the DLC after EVO, have more time to finish them, and that's that. Uh, and that's that. Or, or two, they're going to have the, the DLC done before EVO starts, and then you'll have the whole roster for the, uh, for the tournament. Which, at the same time, makes no sense. Because, why the hell would you do this format, and you're going to have all the characters done before EVO... Why the hell do you not just sell the game for $60 and call it a day? 40 character roster. The only reason why is because they're planning on making more money off of it. That's the only reason. That's if the whole DLC is going to be there before EVO starts. If not, then it's going to be a pretty bland EVO in my opinion. I don't think it's going to be a good EVO for BB Tag because this is probably the only year that BB Tag is going to be at EVO. I'm calling it. It's not going to be there next year. This is a, a, a project that was initially going to be released as a 40 character roster. But then somewhere down the road, they said, let's get it done before EVO or something like that. And it got tumbled into being, oh, let's just reduce the price and just split the roster in half which is the dumbest idea ever. Somewhere down the line, someone stumbled because this is, I guarantee you, this is not how the project was initially going to be released. Later down the project life, it probably tumbled somewhere. That's just me speculating, but that's just, I, I have a strong feeling that's what happened. But anyways, that's beside the point. That's going to be it for me today. That's all I wanted to say on the, pro on the subject. Uh, I kind of got my feelings out there. Now, last thing of the video that I want to tell you guys about was... A question if you guys have made it this far into the video congrats give yourself a round of applause pat on the back blah 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 i want you guys to tell me something now are you guys still getting cross tag battle even with all this stuff that's happening even though we still don't know about the pricing let me know let me know um if we're and we're going to be using the like bar as a little poll all right i don't care about the liking the like rating on this video i just want to know what you guys think and how many of you guys are going to do it okay so i wanted you guys to give a thumbs up if you are going to get it and a thumbs down if you're not going to get it. you're still not satisfied with everything and let me know in the comment section below if the pricing will even affect your buy or if the ruby thing was enough to get your buy or if you're not getting it tell me the reason why you still don't support it let me know in the comment section below let's keep this a little less hostile than what i've been seeing lately but uh, for the most part, I just want to know if you guys, I'm, I'm interested in you and you guys. Uh, of course, if, like I said, I still don't understand the people that get it, that get it and they say, I'm totally okay with this whole DLC thing. I'm like, mm, I can't even, I don't even want to listen to you, but whatever. I don't, I can't comprehend those people. I can't think like them. So, but for the most part, let me know, like if you're going to get it and dislike if you're not going to get it.
Thank you all for watching the video, guys. Appreciate you dealing with me for this one last video. After this, we're going to be moving on. I'm going to be still doing uh, Blaze with Cross Tag Battle content. I know some a lot of people come to me for Cross Tag Battle content. You're going to be expecting it in the next few days until the release and even after the release. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate everybody clicking on the video and supporting. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the channel for Cross Tag Battle content. And let me know by liking or disliking if you're going to get it or not. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.